Hello friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show demo on how to delete 12 months old file from a folder using script task in it. So we all know that when you want to copy, move file or delete file by using file system task, we can do many operations related to the files and folders. But here in this case, how to, de how to delete the old files from a folder using script task instead of using them file system tool. If your company has product, product based company and there are many files getting uh, getting loaded in your FTP task from the firm, customers from the, from third parties you know, to process on these things. But at that time the files are gathering, files are accumulating and it, it, it went to the hundreds of files at, at the end of the year. So at the time, as per the requirement, the business requirement of the of the of that particular company, they want to <coughs> delete particular files for every uh, three months, six months, nine months, or twelve months. And, uh, they have developed one package. They used to run the package every uh, six months as per the requirement. So this is in this demo, I will show how to delete the files. 12 months old file, that is more than one year file, how to delete from a particular folder using script task in SS. So, first I will show what are the folders I have. This is my file test sample directory. In this, there are different files are there, and the last modified date it comes to um, one notepad file is there. Uh, it is uh, now November 2021, and uh, other one, or other files are there in, in January, February, like this CSV file or text file. Now, uh, by implementing the more than 12 month files, I used to delete this one. But later, I will we will look into the other files. For that, I am directly using the script task into the control pane. Double click. We need to write some code here directly. We don't uh, pass any data variables or read data variables directly. We go to the edit script. Yeah, now it is opened. Uh, first, you need to add the system dot your namespace, which is dealing with files and folders in your system. System dot your. After that, you directly go to the code. Amplified main code. Here you need to write some four or five lines of code. First, I'm declaring the string and calling for file path is my variable name, string variable. And I am assigning the the path I need to we, we need to delete in this case. We already showed this is the path. Within double quotes, within double quotes, I need to mention the path. Afterwards, end with semicolon. And next one, I, I am passing here. I am declaring the one uh, string array type variable. String array. String array type. That's called. Uh, I'm mentioning as the file as the variable name is equal to directory. So th this variable is to store the um, store the files from this uh, from the file path variable. If you want to store, you need to declare the array type um, array data type. Get files. You get files from file path. File path is the variable. And with semicolon. Next, here we need to uh, read the file. For that, I am using the for each file. For each file, for each string file. In file, this file is related to a string variable. 
and within curly braces you need to write the file info file info f5 new file info new file info and mention the file if If I if I means file info. If if I dot, there is a, so many methods are there. If I dot last uh, last right term. If I dot last right term is greater than is less than is less than date time dot now date time dot dot now but today's date date time dot now dot Add months. How many months you, you, you need to add? Mention the uh, uh, number. How many months you need to you, you have to mention? I am here mentioning the twelve months. This is the key in point here. If 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 I means file info. If file info is last right time. Last right time is greater than the date time that now means from today's date. You need to add months. How many months you need to declare? Twelve months. Uh, I, I I need to. I want twelve months. And finally, if I dot delete, if I dot delete, if I dot delete, so this is the code. And this is the code. Just you need to save this code. And then once again, I'm telling. First time declaring the file path and declaring the one. Uh, path where your files are uh, located and uh, I'm adding the st string variable uh, files directed to store all these files from this file path for that I am I'm, I'm using the for each string file in, in file file info is the class we need to use the fi dot methods that are having in the file info is less than the date time now uh, add months. We need to mention the how many months you, you want to delete here. Minus one, minus twelve. If you want to delete a nine months, you have to, if you want to delete one month, you need to mention like that. I am saving this code. Closing and okay. First, I already told uh, here when you check the on last. Uh, 12 months it is showing only one file that is adventure works this one which is located which is the number 17 2021 so i may go to run the package yeah this one so that adventure works number file has been deleted if you want to take 11 months so it um, this course file also deleted. I am changing the script and change the number of months to 11. And let's see what happens. Changing the number of months here from 12 to 11. Will have deleted. It's first January 2022. Today it's uh, December 28th. Once again, make sure this course file name is course. Course file, it is January 19th. It has been, it's been created. Now, if, after running this package, that file has been deleted. You see here, there is no so this is how you need to write the script task to, to delete the file. It's very much easy. Just to, you need to uh, declare one variable and uh, paste that um, path. After that, you need to write some string variable to store the uh, directory uh, uh, directory in, uh, in that string variable. 
not unit condition. Last right time is greater than the date, date dot now, date time dot now, and match up the number of months. Minus, minus three, minus four, minus twelve, whatever. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.